Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, Farron killed an almost dead Phasmir. Uh, in plain sight, Blaze was right there next to him. <laughs> I couldn't stop him. He couldn't stop him. He rolled an add one. And after that, they just dumped the body behind them and went to investigate a cave that was nearby that had dragon prints near it. Since in content. that cave, they found a bunch, a uh, large clan of dead Goliaths. And then from there, they just, uh, sledded, sledded, slayed, sledded, sledded, sled, 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 they sled <laughs> down the hill in, uh, their, uh, sleeping bags. Farron had a dead body with him and had lots of fun. <laughs> You're out of control, <laughs> Farron. Uh, and then, with the other side of the group, uh, Lazarus, Ryan, and Aelorndel caught up with them, found the dead. Fasmir questioned him through Speak with the Dead, learned a few things. Then they uh, ended up seeing a tent and cart in the distance, and they went there and found the rest of the group. Uh, then Blaze confronted everyone about Farron... <laughs> Killing Fazmir. We're pr- putting him out of his misery, in quotation marks. <laughs> I may have tattled. And Farron did not hear that because he had walked away. Uh, <laughs> so that's where we left off. So uh, please feel free to take it away, anyone. Uh, we just said we were going to have a rest, so we slept for the night, right? Yeah. The tent? yeah. Like, it's a pretty big wall tent. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, and wait, wait, wait. you and Aelrindal... Blaze and Aelrindel had agreed to go to the cabin with the wizard. Mm, that's yeah, right, we agreed to do that. that. Yeah, I said I would help armor. with the dragon, yeah. so and then we would go to the cabin. And I had to give him a piece of armor. Yeah. Well, you were planning that, on giving that yeah. to me anyway, which... You didn't know was that. a <laughs> fucking Chaotic cheap boy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you just drop on us that Farron murdered Vazmir. Yeah, and then and we went to bed. Like, <laughs> oh, let's, go to bed. Uh, let, let's keep it before you went to bed, just because I bet there's a lot of stuff you guys would be talking about right now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Ruman is here too. Ruman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, I sit down in the tent. I've spread out all... By the time they've gotten there, I've officially taken over a corner. It's all mine. I have my books. I have all the stolen shit. I have, like, a little lamp pulled up. When my little, I've been painting a little picture of uh, Farron sliding down the hill. Um, also, I have a dead Farron picture, okay. like a sad face, uh, <laughs> in my notebook. Uh, not Farron, Fazmir. Yeah. <laughs> dead Farron. I think I'm blind. I just been dreaming about killing Farron. NBD. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm like, all right. So, listen, before we head to bed, we have some stuff to talk about. Clearly, um, but also we did rob Mister Mythics. Yeah. Uh, and these are all the items. Uh, if you guys want to have a look, see if there's anything you want. Uh, Taylor Dell, I did see something pretty cool that I thought would fit you perfectly because you're dead and you have a bill on a cape. It is a wand of murder. <laughs> That's really judging a book by its cover, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> you have a thing for flair, my friend. You will like this. It summons crows. <laughs> There's a flock of a murder of crows. <laughs> okay, I uh, I take the wand. I'm going to inspect it. Okay, so uh, I can figure out it's. Please don't activate it in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh, Lovecrafter. Wooden <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so, <laughs> so it's like a pure black <laughs> wand, and at the end of it, you, there's uh, an etching of a crow. Hmm. That you can just barely see if you shine a little bit of light on it. Okay. I used it while we were heading our way up here, and uh, it summoned uh, ten crows that just flapped around, really, and then they flew away. But I feel like they might come in handy during a fight. Maybe perhaps if you could just set them loose on someone, or even if you're just trying to scare people. I mean, imagine this. The door opens. <laughs> Elendil steps out as a flock of cr- a murder of crows <laughs> explodes from the doorway, and then out walks this undead, intimidating man with his black necrotic sword and his cape yeah. billowing in the wind. And how epic is that, right? <laughs> his sword a euphemism? What? Okay. No, he has a necrotic sword. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Long sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask? <laughs> um. Oh boy. <laughs> Can um, you paint that? 
<laughs> I actually am going to spend the rest oh of it. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to bring out a trinket I haven't used in a while, and it's my bubble pipe. So my pipe, like my smokeweed oh, yeah, pipe that blows bubbles. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna just paint a picture of uh, Allendale stepping out of nice. murder. I'm I'm gonna, I will <laughs> definitely take the wand of, pro, of murder. Okay. I'm gonna set up my bedroll right next to you. Like even why? You've obviously cleared a little space for yourself and put your shit on the ground. I'm gonna just like move your shit aside and put my bedroll right there. That's kind of rude, but I guess you can sleep there if you want. I mean, um, it's a pretty big tent. There's room on the other, like opposite corner if you want to go not there. Even okay. Just, just set it up. I'm gonna keep painting then. Yeah. I don't know why you have to do this. <laughs> I feel really violated. Like you just kind of entered my bubble. I didn't touch you. No the bubble but pops. <laughs> oh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Thank you, Duncan. Roll. No way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am vetoing that one. <laughs> No, I veto that. Garbage. <laughs> what did you say that's clever to you, then? It's because when the bubble popped, I noticed it. I'm like, ah, clever. Okay. Yeah. okay I'll, I'll give you that. Enough. Oh, wow, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to do Jesus, for the night. Jesus, one time. Okay. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll be like, since you're here, you might as well look at this stuff, too. All right. See what you want. It's just stuff from Mr. Mithers. Yeah, we stole it from Mr. Mythics. Um, Mr. I'm gonna look at the rest of the stuff as well, just yeah. see if there's anything else. That's... I'm gonna pull up a list. No and of course, you guys don't know exactly what the yeah. descriptions are. You just know what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, Ruben, since you're here, do you want anything? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll I'll take a look. I'd love something. These are all magical. Yeah. Sweet. Um, well, uh, mm. except the soap. We're not totally sure about that. It's kind of weird. I don't feel comfortable around it, but I mean, it seems magical. Is the soap just, like, way off in the opposite corner? <laughs> yeah, I hit it in the corner. Um, some more hair on it. I think it per- always has a little bit of hair on it. Yeah. It's a permanent thing. Do I recognize uh, the destination dagger, since I have one? No, those no, are uh, stuff that's, that's in Like, oh. the first list is stuff that Mr. Mithers had. Oh, and pardon. Then the oh, next yeah. list is the stuff from Sorry. Mr. Mythics. You, you. Yeah, it's part of me. <laughs> oh, dude. I was like, I was like, dude, that'd be sick. Got two of them. I should have yeah. got the clips. As well. All good. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that. I forgive you. While they're looking, how's my painting coming out? Pretty good. Just because I love how you describe it, it is excellent. You don't even need to roll a performance check. I'm giving you that. And- oh, thanks, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Came out exactly as you wanted it. That is perfect. Does anybody have illusory magic? Just like out of curiosity. None of us. Uh, I I don't have magic at all. You don't. You don't. Not even. No. No. No illusionary magic. Are you a wizard or a warlock? I'm a sorcerer. Never mind that. I will. Let my painting dry, and I'll show it to Aylerndale. I'll be like, Aylerndale, what do you think? This is kind of like, kind of what I was picturing. And he said it, like, it turned out absolutely perfect. Yeah, exactly how he had described it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really good. Good job, boys. Yeah, it's like my first masterpiece. I'm very pleased with it. But yeah, I think you'd look really cool. I'm going to go grab my bedroll and, like, dump the body out of it. <laughs> and then go to the tent and... Hey, my missing bedroll! <laughs> you found it! You notice yeah. it does smell oh, really I... bad. Um, whatever. It's with you, I'm no longer concerned. Well, I'm deeply concerned, <laughs> but I mean, like, if, you know what I mean. Uh, what the fuck am I going to do for us tonight? I'm just going to tinker with my gun some more, because I want to okay. get practice with my tinkerers kit. Okay. I'm trying to get that proficiency. Yeah. Uh, can I notice? Oh, I would notice you. Yeah, you notice he has some kind of yeah. mechanism or device that has like a handle and a trigger, and then has like a barrel, I guess. Like a long silver pipe. Yeah, a long silver pipe going off with one two, end. With two holes at the end. Yeah. Like a blowpipe. Sort of? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, what you got there? This? It's called a gun! I nabbed it off the bandits! When we were in Ite, um, it's like a projectile weapon. Uh-huh. Uh, what I can tell is that it takes a certain kind of powder, uh-huh. 
And when you pull this trigger mechanism, it clicks uh, some, I don't know exactly, I think flint, is it? Yeah. It ignites the powder within the, these tubes, and there are pellets, like dark uh, like uh, pieces of metal, like shrapnel. Uh, and the force of the explosion within sends it shooting outwards, and it's like a high projectile weapon. It does pretty decent damage. It put a hole in Anardale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was not. That was not very fun. That was awesome. And I shot through a door. Yeah, that's why I took it. Like it, this is, could be pretty powerful. The only problem is it has limited ammo. I feel like I could make more with enough time, but for now we only have six shots. Can I see the ammo? Sure, take a look. Cool. As you look at it, it looks like something that you might be able to make. Just from your proficiency through yeah. blacksmithing and stuff like that. So are there any of the items that D2 would like to keep? Um, I don't think so, actually. No? I think I'm good. There's one that I thought would, could be really overpowered for you, but I'm glad you haven't chosen it. Oh. You specifically. Yeah. And I'm not going to say why, because it might just like one-shot a boss or something. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna reread through this bad boy just one more time just you know for sakes and sakes. Ryan, is there anything you think you want? What color green is the cape? It's like the uh, a springtime green, so like the green of trees just getting their leaves. Does that match my aesthetic? I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, then I wouldn't be interested in it. Okay. And you do have Identify, so you could cast it on any of these if you're interested. I have a lot of those. Six of them. Okay, can I take the ring and cast Identify on it? The Ring of Risk? The black ring? Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. Uh, What does Identify do again? Can you just. Let me check. Just because I don't want to give too little or too much information. Yes, you choose one object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. If it's a magic item or some other magic beat object, you learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement, and how many charges it has, if any. You learn whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. Okay. Yeah, so you cast it on this ring, and you immediately know it's called a ring of risk. And you know that when you wear this, you'll You'll immediately be reduced to five hit points, but you'll deal damage the. You'll deal triple dam the damage of your roll. So like <clears throat> all damage. Yep. Like even magical damage. That's. Yep. That's dope. Uh, I that's why it's a ring of risk. I want it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Okay. But what if you die? Yeah, you're dropped to five hit points. Yeah, that's pretty. I shitty. will be careful. <laughs> I'll be super careful. Dude, you're the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you can't hit a spell to save your life. Oh my god. <clears throat> It'll be fine. Heat metal, triple It'll the It'll be power. fine. <laughs> when you think about it, I can die as many times as I need to. <laughs> That's That's you said you didn't effect. want anything. It's gonna be some That's the one I was thinking of. Oh my god, dude. There's gonna be some but, lingering effect to dying repeatedly. I, like maybe I, you get I think eventually, dumber and dumber yeah. of each death. Your brain just starts to deteriorate. Yeah, maybe, maybe. then I'll be on the same level as Blaze. <laughs> I'm a super high intelligence bitch. <laughs> didn't be, didn't getting turned into an abyssal wretch. Make you no, my intelligence is fine. Oh. My physical stuff. It, it was at first, but then he got cured of yeah. that just because I didn't want him to just be screeching <laughs> random things the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm an 18 in intelligence. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm planning on putting it to 20 by the end of this. So, was there anything else that anyone wanted? No. Forget about it. Um, no, I think I'm good. I'll let Ryan have the ring. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, you said you didn't want it. No, so. I, yeah, I, I completely read over it. I thought it was the one that um, Clayton had before the painting uh, line. Oh, yeah. So, it's all good. Cool. Eventually, I'm sure. You'll get it. <laughs> well... <laughs> I think it's well, a threat. No, no, I mean from an <laughs> objective standpoint, I can probably yeah. make the most use out of it, but I don't yeah. I I don't think anything of it in game. It's all so. good. Ruben is gonna take the boots of illusionary illusory interaction. 
What are those? Those are so good. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I wish I was a magician. Oh. He's going to ask if he can cast identify on it. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll cast identify. I have like 1,700 spell slots. <laughs> and you <clears throat> have an alarm rest anyway. Also, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'll cast identify. You learned that wearing these boots allows you to walk over illusory bridges or paths and stuff like that. So broken, but amazing. I don't think it's broken. Yeah, it's, oh, it's not really broken. Well, if you have major image. Oh, fuck. Right? I didn't even think of that. Or hallucinatory terrain. Dude. And then you just walk Ooh, over like yeah. it's no biggie. Fuck, but... We should have taken those. I didn't even think of that and I made yeah, the I item. Know. That's why I was like, does anybody have any illusion magic? But none of us do. It's fine. Ruman will probably die. <laughs> Ruman's like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're not going to hurt you, Ruman. But the way things have been going with everyone we meet, like your chances are minimal at best. Your best, out- like your Actually. best outcome is you just hang out with Zarathos. Like he's the only one who's come to hang out with us that's lived. To be honest, everyone around us dies, <laughs> including people within our crew. <laughs> I'm not naming names. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you're a badass, I can tell. But I mean, I just, I'm not. Um, I'm trying not to get my hopes up. <laughs> Actually, can I check out the the glasses? Uh, yeah, sure. You're supposed to take one thing each. <laughs> we, uh, yes. we agreed we're not going to give them back. I guess we didn't really talk about that. But are you putting them on? I was just. Uh, or are you just? You know, I'm going to look at them check. first. Okay. I'm going to pick them up and just look at them. Okay. And then depending on what I roll from there. <laughs> uh, just roll either investigation or canna. What glasses? Uh, glasses of disguise. Oh. Uh, okay, it's plus one either. Uh, so like. Uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. Eighteen. Uh, you do send some kind of magic, some kind of probably illusor, illusory magic, with these. You mm. can walk on it now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I look I look across. At everyone, and as I'm looking around, I like try. What kind of glasses are they? Are they like like They're spectacles, like, or are they like shades? No, just regular glasses, just thick brimmed. So uh. think like uh, Clark Kent glasses. <laughs> oh, okay, that's, that's exactly what you. they are. Takes his glasses off, Lois. <laughs> it's me. I, no, it's not. I I put them on and see if okay. anyone. <laughs> uh, would anyone be looking at Elrondal right now? Uh, I'm no. just kind of looking around the tent. No, okay. honestly, I'm just chilling. At some point, you see him, and you don't know who the <laughs> fuck this is. Or how they got in your tent. <laughs> I pull out my bag pipes and I begin to cry. <laughs> <laughs> he, what, what, he turns what? invisible. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> what, what, what? And, and then the two of you see this random man in your tent who you pull never out my met gun. before. <laughs> uh, who are you? What have you done? Why are you here? Uh, I, I, I take off my glasses. Okay. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> I fire. No. <laughs> I get shot again. I put the gun away. Um, and there's spike like, pipes in your ears now. And you don't, it's really loud in here. You don't see who's playing them. You hear noise coming from a certain spot in the tent, though. I throw, I throw the... Uh, Gloves are swimming and climbing at him. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> you walk out of the tent. Okay. <laughs> you hear this music start to fade. What? Are you playing like a specific song? You're just blaring on I'm them. Just blaring on uh, them. Roll a performance check again, please. <laughs> also, if we're not giving any of this back, can I take the gloves of swimming and climbing? <laughs> is that not twenty? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what Nobody else is taking them. <laughs> I'm going to take the gloves of swimming and climbing since we're not giving this stuff back. 18. 18. Uh, you actually play a pretty good tune, not even meaning to. After that, I'll stop it. Go back in the tent. Okay. Oh, like man. you stop playing and enter the tent again? Okay. I can tell those are going to get real <laughs> annoying. Okay, but you got to understand, oh, I saw a stranger in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right! I would also be scared of strangers. You never know when they're murderers. Okay. It's not like we want to hang out with murderers. <laughs> uh, can I? Um... <laughs> Why are you putting so much emphasis on that? I don't know. I'm just saying. So you're taking the gloves? Yeah, I guess if we're not giving them back, 
It gives me a plus five to a strength athletic checks when swimming or climbing. Can and I'm a wow. tabaxi, so That's I would sick. love that. Can I uh, also take the double trouble doublet? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you're not. You don't know what this actually okay. does, though. Oh, well, I'm gonna. You could have it. Have identify cast on it. I. I ask uh, my boy Ryan. I'm like, hey, uh, do you uh, mind casting identify on this? I don't know what it does. No. Also, I think it's I'll fair to. It. S- Fair to say, we should give the cape of chlorophyll to uh, Zach. He would like. That yeah, cape. he yeah. would like that very much. Yeah, very he, he actually might really want the boots of illusory interaction, but I mean, we can figure that out when he gets here. The next time. Can Rangers cast hallucinatory terrain? Yeah, at really high levels, but yeah. And then, well, it's like a seven I mean, I and grab them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but uh, when Zach gets we can <laughs> mug him. We'll see what's happening. Yeah. But uh, also, I think it's fair to say that this folding boat is like a a group item. I'll put it in the bag of holding, and if it ever comes to it, we have a boat. I'm gonna That's take fair. The, the bowler, <laughs> the bowler. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, You need that <laughs> <laughs> for a very specific memory that just happened recently. <laughs> you need to get that out of your head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is anyone having anything cast on these or trying to figure out what they do? Uh, Ryan said he'd, uh... Yeah, I'll cast Identify I would on, the, try on the double okay. doublet. Oh, the bigger so knife is also... So, you write amazing. that this is a double trouble doublet. So, when wearing this doublet, you'll receive twice the amount of damage uh, if you get hit, but you'll also deal double the damage that you deal. And it cancels out vulnerabilities. So, if... If someone is... Uh... Resistant. Or... Cancelled resistances. So if someone is resistant to uh, ice damage and do you deal dice ice damage to them, then it's just regular damage, not resistant. Right. Well, yes. Imagine if we tried to reg- regularly pay for these things. Yeah. <laughs> I will definitely take that. Okay. Oh my god. Is that require attunement? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Does the ring require attunement? Uh, the ring of risk? <laughs> the majority of these will require attunement, I think. Uh, the bigger knife, I'm also going to say we gave to Zach. He would love the bigger knife. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that is a Zach um, item. Same with the cape. If you're attuned to a ring, and then you take it off, yeah. and then put it back on again, do you have to be attuned to it? No, no. No, attunement, it works like it's if you're attuned to this ring and then you take it off, the attunement still stays. Right. So you can't but attune you just, to another item but while you it's off. You don't get the effect of the ring while it's You off. don't get the effect while it's off. Yeah. But you're still okay, attuned okay, to okay. said item. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. At cool, least cool, that's cool. how I see it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, right. Sense? Are Is you it? trying to figure out what the. Oh, I'm going to put the hat on. Oh, okay. I'm going to try it on. Let's just throw it on a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't have an identifier earlier. We were just playing with shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wonder what this wand does. Oh, God, crows! <laughs> uh, hmm. When you put this on, you... Uh, roll an arcana check, please, actually. I think you have advantage on this anyway, because of your necklace. Oh. That's cooking. That's cooking with gas. Oh, that's a 19. Sexy. <laughs> Oh, he's a 23. Okay, uh, you believe that this hat has a code word when you put it on? And do you believe that this has something to do with memories? You're not exactly sure what about memories, but that's what you think. Okay. I'll just keep it on for now. Okay. I like it. It's... Okay, is there... Uh, sorry to... Sorry about interrupting you before. What's, what were you saying? Uh... Uh, the sentence you said started with since. Yeah, so um, since we are going to rest here, right, because we got the tent yeah. set up, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the crew, <clears throat> oh, does anyone want to go back with me and uh, grab Fasmir's body and we'll throw it in the car and we'll bring it over here? Because he's not, he's not that far away, was he? Just about uh, 45, maybe an hour. Yeah, it was really like an hour. I don't know. I get, we're, yeah. Because, we, like, when you hit the body, we, we said it was like an hour to an hour and a half yeah, away. Because yeah. we're going to be going northeast from here, right? So <sighs> Yeah, we should go back. And so go. If we're going to bury him, we should go back tonight and bury him. 
If we're not burying him, then there's no point. Are we burying him? The ground is very frozen. Does anyone have an option to, like, to soften the earth so that this isn't so... Do you have any kind of spell? Well, we could technically bury him by just throwing him in the cave, because the cave itself is technically in, in, in ground, and there's already a lot of bodies in there. That's called That's a mass crazy. grave. Yeah, just toss him in. It's like he's. Take this he just no, fits in because he's already dead. Okay. Um, and he's probably really f- like he's frozen solid. Probably. A, listen, I'm actually a, a really glad that you spoke up. Uh, <laughs> Cause we need to have a chat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to have a chat. Yeah. Listen, you're 17. You don't know what's <laughs> best or what's good yet. You uh, still got a good time to grow. You need to learn these lessons. You can't. Uh, Kill people. I'm gonna stand by the door of the tent. I'm gonna <laughs> cast zone of truth. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> What's that? A wisdom saving throw? I don't think it is a save. Is it a saving throw, bitch? Not on you. On um, no anyone that, in the area. Everyone in the area has to. It's a pretty big area. Fifteen foot radius. So the whole tent for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it? A wisdom saving. Guards against deception. It's not charming. Why can't you be charmed? I have a thing you you uh, I got. Oh, you. that's I, rare. Is oh. that you can't be charmed or you? I can't it's a be charisma charmed. save. Charms don't work. On. That's true. Is it a charm? It's enchantment. Trip and disadvantage on being charmed. Too late now. If you can't be charmed, you can't be charmed. Yeah, the unicorn thing. That's right. Yeah, the unicorn thing. Wait, no. Right. Didn't that say they give advantage on? No, you can't no. be charmed. Damn. Is Zone of Truth the charm? It's the an enchantment, enchant- though? It's an enchantment. I would assume it's a charm. Uh, you create a magical zone that guards against deception, deception in a 15-foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the sphere's area or starts its turn there must make a charisma save. On a failed save, a creature can't speak or deliberately lie while in the radius. Mm, okay. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails to save. That's not really charming. Yeah, that's not charming. It's not. An affected no, creature is aware of the though. spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such a creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. So it's not a charm? Yeah, it doesn't nope. give you a charm. Okay, because no. as a revenant, I'm also immune to being charmed. But Okay, so, uh, so chaotic and we can't be charmed. Yeah. I like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever know that we're bad people. <laughs> so a charisma um, save? Charisma throw? save, yeah. DC 16. Natural 20. Nice, dude. I say it. Name drop. Nine. He's going to make it. He has a huge charisma. Rumen failed. Okay. Yeah, I got a nine. Cool. No. Save. Fuck yeah. you. Seven. Oh, I know there was a one for a second. Yeah. I, that's, that's on my heart. Yeah, that's 13. Nice. Okay. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> I was not affected. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> Okay, continue with your <laughs> interrogation. I thought you were going to start interrogating. No, I just wanted to... just cast a spell. You can't just walk into a conversation and cast a spell if you're not going to take over. What did you just cast, Rumen asks. Zone of Truth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you really Rumen? Yes. Okay, just checking. <laughs> um, are you here to I... kill one of us? No. What are your true goals? Why are you <laughs> <laughs> to, find, to figure out if Ryan is my brother. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Never mind. Did you kill Vasimir? <laughs> there, did you kill Vasimir? Do I hear that? Yes. yes. Where did you hear that? Oh, wait. No, he doesn't have, have oh. doesn't have it out yet. Can I pull out the bagpipes? <laughs> <laughs> you could. They all see you pulling out the bagpipes. I'm though. standing by If you play that pipe, we got problems. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I don't dislike you. <laughs> you concern me. Deeply. <laughs> but I don't dislike you. I like you, okay? But you got a lot of shit going on that we've been dodging for like a while now. I just want some answers. So what answer do you want? Okay, first of all, why'd you kill Fasimir? Because he was going to die anyways. And it's the right thing to do. Your attempts were not working. I think they were making it worse. Possibly. Shit. And that's what he believes. I can't believe you just throw some cold logic at me like that. This is <laughs> kind of mean, but yeah. Um, uh, uh, here's another one. Are you a human? <laughs> Give him some hints. Do you, do you know? No, I don't know. He's giving hints, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you human? I know he's human. 
I'm gonna play the bagpipes. <laughs> no! I'm gonna stop him! <laughs> Uh, roll a dexterity check and roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, janky. Six. Six. Sixteen. Seventeen. You're able to start playing them. <laughs> Don't let him leave! I'm standing by the, the door. Yeah. He is playing. Can I just, like, walk up? I can uh, hear him. Yeah, you can hear where he is. Yeah. I'm going... not playing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, that was cute, but <laughs> not really the best escape attempt. Listen, you just gotta be honest. I think, listen, we haven't been a party at all. I mean, we got together and never on chance, but we all have different goals. None of us seem to like each other. We, we're way too freely willing to just dip and leave. We're trying to save, like, I understand. I want to go to this wizard and be at the back sea again. But once that's done, I have every intention of finding this Artemis guy and saving the world. I think we all need to, like, figure it out. And be a real group. And the first step is closure and honesty. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, if you want honesty, here it is. Uh, I don't exactly know what I am anymore. I've been wearing this mask for a long time. And a lot of things have happened. For all I know, I could be something darker. Uh... I maybe I could be a human. Maybe it could be a combination of races. I don't really know. Why can't you take the mask off? It's kind of sealed to my face. Well, that's it's actually like kind of epic. Thing. That's pretty fucking <laughs> badass, guys. I respect that. Uh, but you were a human at one point. Listen, dude, we made friends with a human and still be. Why do you think we'll treat you differently? Well, <laughs> well, help me out, guys! <laughs> there are no. three of us here. You're doing fine. <laughs> All right. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. I suppose <laughs> that maybe at one point I was I was a human. Okay. Yes, that's cool. Yes, I like humans. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I hate them. Okay, whatever. That's racist. <laughs> Listen, why, um, why do you disappear randomly in rings of fire? Do you have any idea or an inkling? Why is this happening? Because, well, listen, everyone here is getting asked questions by me at one point, all right? <laughs> Everyone's getting interrogated now, baby. <laughs> well, why? What? Oh, I'm pulling the rod. <laughs> I'm gonna stop him. <laughs> yeah. You only got ten minutes until Zone of Truth runs out. Yeah, so just roll uh, opposing strength checks. Strength now? <laughs> For the rod. Because you're trying to take it away from him. Six. Is it 19? You've still got the rod. Huh. Do I know that Zone of Truth <laughs> has been casted on me? Yeah, everyone yeah. would know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just double I'll check just, in. I'll, I'll stroke the rod and <laughs> keep it close. You can't keep dodge. Why am I doing this? You can't hear me. <laughs> Did you save from this spell? No, I failed. Okay. I lay down on my bed rolling. No one can hear now. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep. Uh, until he falls asleep, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> By which point, Zone of Truth will have dissipated. Yeah. Kick him. <laughs> Should we try and steal this rod? Uh, we don't know. We can't communicate. I'm going to go... Uh, I have it tucked or like. I'm gonna like close. make an eye, like I'm doing the eye thing, and I'm pointing at Aylordale, and then I'm pointing at the rod, and I'm doing like a yank motion with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll? This is my like That's it. I got. I'm gonna roll, mouth roll well. inside. Is there also a... mouth my words. Steal the rod from. Steal the rod. I'm still like staring at it. Too. Is the yeah, rod made of metal? metal? With advantage. Yes, it is. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but it's metal, uh, something you have to just talk. I'm checking. Okay. 19? Yeah. Yeah, you Wait, understand what he's saying. Sorry, were you saying with advantage to me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 19. Yeah, you understand okay. what he's Verbal trying to Verbal material. Okay. You understand, though? This tent has openings I, I, on the edges, right? Because it's not sealed around perfectly all the way around. It's, it, like, pegged in. Right. Yeah. Grab the rock! When I see yeah. them move towards me, um, I'm just gonna roll out one of the signs <laughs> of the tent. Okay, uh, just roll a dexterity saving throw to get out. Eleven. 
Uh, you have a lot of trouble actually getting out. You do make <laughs> it out after about a minute, but we, they we see you trying to get out. Like, grab him, right? Within a minute. You could I do mean, a strength he's... check to grab him. Well, both of us are doing yeah. it, right? Okay, so with, uh, or just each do one, or. I'm if it's help, then it's just you roll with advantage. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you then, I suppose. No, I'm helping you. Oh, you're gonna help me? Yeah, you have oh, much better you know, strength. Yeah. Well, no, you don't need. You only have a plus three. So I have plus two. It's still a little better. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What advantage? It's cocked. That's a fourteen, I think. Oh, okay. It's 14. Okay. But it's uh, advantage, so, so seventeen. And then uh, a dirty 20. You're able to keep him from leaving. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll pull him back. From yeah, yeah, you have one leg. I have the other. Yeah, we'll drag um, him in. Just we're keeping gonna... it as tucked as possible. Can we try and wrestle the rod from him? Uh, sure. Roll another strength check. You two. Uh, I'll help you again. Okay. Six. I'll, like, grab his face. So I'm going to try to grab the rod. Uh, Eleven. Uh, 12. <laughs> While Blaze was still, like, pulling him out, you were able yeah. to, uh, take that moment where he was kind of distracted to grab the rod from him. Okay, I, I pull the rod out of his hand, and, um, I just, I just hold it, and I'm, just, like, I'm not activating it or anything, yeah, yeah so I'm just, like, holding it, and I'm like, uh, don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> Listen! No one's ju- We're running out of time! <laughs> This is a fresh start! Okay? Be honest with us. No, we're not gonna fucking kill you. We're not gonna kick you out. Alright? Yeah, that's that's murder of a minor. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, we have to be honest with each other. So please, give us some help. We're gonna help you. Alright. <laughs> well, seems you took my tool away from we'll me. We'll give you the rod back. <laughs> Better. Um... <laughs> What do you want to know? I want to know why you disappear in Rings of Fire. I want to know what's your connection to the depths. And I want to know... I just want to know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been all fucky? My connection to fire is associated with something demonic. That's all I know. And my connection to the depths, I am unaware. It's something demonic. I don't really know. Do you know what demon? No. Do you know why? with an S. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Not really. <laughs> You don't know why? Not really. Do you remember anything about your past? Yes. What do you remember? Why? (laughs) (laughs) This is important! I remember. I want to help! Alright, I remember being a human man working on a farm for my family. Okay. Very nice. Very peaceful. They would send me out to do tasks every day. Go to the local village and... I would grab some supplies. Well, one day my mother fell ill. It was a nice. I met a man. He said he could fix her, but for a price. I agreed. What was the price? I. I'm guessing what happened to me now. It's not magic before. So you made a deal with a demon. No. <laughs> Don't do it. That's the true name. Uh-huh. 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 But, fuck, that was so epic. And then you <laughs> Damn it. Uh-huh. So you made a deal with the demon? I don't know. If that sounds like demon. Zarathos, though. He made a deal, and then he became magic. That's why I talked to him before. I asked him some questions. Listen, don't stress about it. We're going to help you. I'll kill you if you try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I wasn't going to kill you. Listen, I don't care. I'm a fucking... Look at me. You don't <laughs> want to be alive. I'm a goddamn ma- disfigured velociraptor. <laughs> ugly. I know. So listen, we're all a party now. We're going to help you. But you have to help us. And you can't keep doing crazy stuff all the time. At least ask first. Okay? All right, I'll give it a shot. Awesome. Give it a chance. Thank you. Now, Aylor and Bell. <laughs> I, I give Fern back the rod. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of an open book, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm worried. Um. Oh, man. Aylor and Bell, do you have any secrets? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> I guess you're being honest, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> so say the word and he'll stroke the rock. <laughs> Ryan, are you affected by the spell? No, it's my own spell. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't affect me. I thought it was anyone in the circle. I think it comes out from him. Though. I can choose a point where it comes from. So I guess you'd have to I don't know. Like, choose your mind. I think that's a gray area. I, I, a I, creature, mean, I wouldn't think so. That'd well, it of, says a creature you know, that starts its turn there must make a charisma save. No, you're probably not affected. Then. So no point in asking you questions. Yeah. Uh, Roman, are you keeping anything from us? I mean, ask away if you've... Have in contrast. That sounded evasive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. answer, I'll answer your question. Do you have any secrets that could be a danger to us? <laughs> yes or no? I don't think so. That's not really a yes or a no. No, as far as I know. Oh, I can sleep now. Ah. <laughs> uh, old Lazarus. Damn. Damn, okay. Like, well, I, I guess mean... I should see if Lazarus failed. He failed. Yes. I mean, it's kind of hard to ask him yeah. his yeah. out here. Lazarus, do you like me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus, did you enjoy riding that horse right behind the other dog? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Listen, I'm sorry I came to this, Farron. But you gotta understand. You better be sorry. I am sorry, but you have to understand it from my point of view. Our whole point of view. I it's, don't. You've been a little whack. I've been handling it the best a man, a 17-year-old man, can handle it. <laughs> gotta stop with that excuse. No, it's 22. Listen, I just feel like this is the first step to us really, like, coming together. I wouldn't I'm, know about that. I would really like us to be a legitimate group. I think... We're better together than we are separate. We proved that because we fucked up that whole trip where we were by ourselves. Like, it did not go well. Except that stealing the, from the guy. That went perfectly. That was amazing. Oh, so let me understand this. You think the best way to form a strong bond between a group is to abuse someone when they can tell the truth and nothing but the truth. I think, well, you took my words out of context. I said, be honest with each other. Well, it's definitely not by killing one of your friends. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I think we can all agree that we're going to move past the Fasimir thing. I okay. A simple death. <laughs> that was like your first pass. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree, though, that we're a party now. Like, we want to save the world, right? Well, that's I, mean... a, I know you want to save the world. Hey, Lardell, like you've been not shutting up about it. <laughs> yeah, but we're taking over time, sweet ass time, going to find this dragon. Then we're gonna go find this stupid wizard in this cabin. <laughs> then we're gonna go to Eel after uh, Artemis is already on his way. So by the time we get there, everyone that we know there will already be captured, and the more of my family will already probably be dead. So listen, here's an idea. Part of me's okay with that. Here's an idea. <laughs> here's, here's, here's... <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's an idea fuck the dragon let's just leave the dragon yeah let's go straight to the wizard so, who can fix me then, and he'll probably he's a powerful wizard he might be able to teleport us to eo but so but so fast we died for nothing he's gonna Honestly, were we all really that attached to Fasimir? No, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's a cruel way to go. I know. We'll bury him, and maybe we'll come back one day and defeat this dragon, but we're not ready for this. We have way too many prior engagements, so if we want to get the old as fast as we can, our best option is to go to this wizard who may have teleportation magic. Yes, I have ulterior so, motives! <laughs> let me get this straight. We're going to go see a wizard... Who can possibly help us by teleporting us somewhere? Yo. That sounds vaguely s- similar to the plot of Shrek Three. Where- <laughs> 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 Shrek- <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm getting hot. Let it go, dude. This- let it go. Listen, life imitates Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. No, Shrek is just life. Do we have That's an true. accord, gentlemen? Are we going to go to the wizard to see if he can teleport to you? I, I think that's probably our next best it's plan. Yeah, let's do it. Part of me agrees. Is that enough <laughs> where you will follow? That is a half yes. A half yes is... 
For you, that's plenty for me. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Yes! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Ridiculous. Dude. I defeat him! <laughs> um, I'm so sorry, I can't. I've watched too much like, of Adventure Zone and they always make these. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Wait, yeah, let's, well, let's go to bed. Let's take a long rest and then when we head out, we can pick up maybe Fastmere and try to quickly bury him all along the way. We do need our rest. I mean, we... We rested on the way up, but... Yeah, I slept for, like, seven hours <laughs> yeah, just same. now. Okay, why don't you two go grab Fastmere now while I, while Fair and I rest with Ruman, and then we can bury him outside the tent here. I'll light a fire outside to try and soften the ground. I kind of want to incinerate him, along with all the bodies. In the we could just do a pyre. Honestly, that's pretty druidic as fuck. Mass, and mass it's... Cremation. Man, oh, yeah, you want to kill the other bodies? You want to burn, burn it all. I'm starting to think you're doing this out of pleasure, <laughs> not no, respect. No. Part of me is, part of me does not want to touch anything remotely dead. How about this? We'll burn all the bodies in the cave with Fastimir's body. Sure. I mean, Whatever. digging a grave is going to be super hard. And... did explicitly ask to be buried. Oh, did he? Yeah. Wait, yeah. how do you know that? Because we talked to him. He's. How did you talk to a dead man? I'm a cleric. Okay. Yeah. You got a spell that talks to dead people? Yeah, it's called Speak with Dead. Okay, oh, that's all you have to say. <laughs> okay, well, if he wants to be buried, then... Fuck. <laughs> I guess we'll bury him. Um, How frozen is the ground outside? Mm, uh, so, moderately. Yeah. Not completely frozen. So, here's... Fern. So you're... You don't want to touch anything that's dead. Why is that? Oh, my God. Well, it's... It's gross, it's icky, it's... Touch him. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you can see yourself, right? And, like, Oof. puddles and things. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. It's, it's gross. Uh. Right, but part of me also finds it very... Uh, exciting. Uh. I'm not really sure what I quite, quite want to do. I kind of just wait till the moment. You're only 17. You still gotta explore your sexuality. Exactly! <laughs> Something like that. Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Quick <Clinton> veto! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so that's canon. <laughs> no going back. Uh, how about this? Baron, you go up the mountain. Have fun burning all the bodies. I know you'll enjoy that thoroughly. Well. Right? Yeah. Let it Get it out of your system. Just fucking set them on fire. Okay. All Burn right. them up. Melt them to goon. Okay. I will light a fire outside. Try and soften the ground. I'm sure it won't be too hard. And then by the time you guys get back, we'll bury them, we'll sleep, and then we'll leave in the morning. Does that make sense? That's cool. We're good with that. And Druman will say that he'll help dig and bring Fasmir over here. Okay, sweet. Lazarus can chill with me. We'll just chat, I guess. But, uh, does that work? Yeah, fine. I think so. All right. Perfect. What do break? <laughs> um, so I guess uh, I'll go over to the cart that they took, and yeah. I'll hop in and drive that thing. Drive that thing. Yeah. Drive that thing. I'll, I'll go with sick, and then is Ruman is gonna start taking a grave. All right. I'll, I'll help. Cool. After I light a small okay. fire outside, I just he uh, we head on our way. Yeah. Okay. Um. And he's going to go burn, like, 25 miles. <laughs> <laughs> what time of day is it? It's like... Uh, it'd be somewhat late at night. Like, it would probably be around 7, maybe 8 right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it is dark, because in the mountains, the sun yeah. isn't as high. So, now that I finally have a fucking minute to myself here... <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> um, I'm going to take my holy symbol, which is, like, a coin on a necklace around my neck. And I'm going to cast Glyph of Warding on it. And I'm going to cast Revivify into the necklace with the trigger that if my pulse stops, it'll cast a spell on me. 
Nice. I like that. Wow. Thank you. Ooh, that's really I've well thought I've been thinking about that for a long time. Dude, that's some hack that's badass. Badass. That Yeah, chance. now that I finally have... Hacker man. He just control shift seed mother load that. That's a <laughs> Sims reference, guys. And I didn't say character boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really a reference if you don't say it in Blaze's <laughs> voice? <laughs> uh, so the two of you are able to pretty easily grab Vazmir between the two of you and lift him into the cart right. and then take him back. Very sweet. Um, and then uh, you and R- Rumen start to dig, and then you just see Rumen grow to a larger size. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, he grows to as a large size, along with everything he's wearing, and he starts digging. And large? He's, he's bigger than a Goliath now. Yeah, and he starts digging and is just making it look easy. Whoa! Big boy, Rumen. What the f- What is that? What just happened? He says, I have, uh, my family and I have always been uh, somewhat of a rune-focused family. So, there are some people who are called rune, uh, wait, rune knights. Rune knights. I'm one of them. And Uh, I cast, I use a rune on myself to grow giant or larger. Whoa. What else can you do with your runes? Uh, I've got three that I can use right now. Uh, One is kind of more like a frost or ice type thing. Uh, It helps increase my strength again. And um, I I can do a few different things better using that. Or I've got a fire ruin that... um, Helps me with other abilities, and also I can use it to restrain a being with kind of like fire shackles. That's pretty epic. Then one more I have is like a stone-based rune. Uh, Gives me a lot of... It gives me more intelligence or like insight. Uh, Gives me better dark vision. And... Uh, it allows me to charm people as well. Wow. You did it with runes? On, like yes. a weapon? Or your... Yeah. Wow. See? And I've got uh, one more protection ruin too. Damn, you're, you're already cooler than Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know half the shit I can do, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just, for right now, he's cool. <laughs> wow, okay. Take away, man. Do you have any runes, Ryan? Did you call you Ryan Rune? No, my. <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, yeah. We'll just. Can we kind of like fast forward this then? Where we just. Yeah. Um, we bury him, yeah, call the night, and then. Uh, what do you. Oh. When, sorry, I was going to say, when we're going on the way back, can I get you to drive the cart? And I want to see if I can attune. Because I probably have to attune at least the, the double trouble doublet, right? Yeah. What about the glasses and the, the wand? The glasses you don't need to attune to. Okay. Uh, the wand... Where's the wand fine? I don't think you have to attune to. Okay, so I'm going to try attuning to the the double trouble. Okay. So that will take a while to do. So uh, It's a short rest, right? I think it's a short rest. Is it? It's yeah. like 15 uh, okay. minutes or half an hour. I think it's just minimum. minimum. Okay, it was about... 45 to an hour that ride. Yeah. Plus, like, I already slept, so throughout the night, like, I'm not going to probably... Yeah, sure, we can say that to you. Okay. okay. Oh, could I also Sweet. attune to the ring while we're traveling there, then? Yeah, because yeah, I sure. drove on the way yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And somewhat during the night as well. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you burn bodies? Yeah, so you have kind of... firebolt in multiple places. Did you bring your sleeping bag up there, too? <laughs> Again? <laughs> you just slide back down <laughs> with another dead body? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. No. Okay, so you just climb back up to the cave, and you've got, like, these 15 or so dead Goliath bodies. Yeah, I'll just reach up my uh, my hand, and I'll just start, like, flicking each one of my fingers, and just casting Firebolt at the palm <laughs> of my hand, <laughs> in these multiple, five different spots. Okay. Yeah, uh, eventually, like, after a minute or two... Well, immediately a few of them catch as they were hit, and then the fire spreads to more of them that are nearby, and more and more, and then the cave is filled with smoke and fire. Yeah, I, I, what if I make my exit? What if the, my, like that cave was actually where the dragon was staying, and they just 
No, we were in a certain area. It wasn't. Okay. Oh, were you certain? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It was where the glass was staying. I thought there was footprints in there. Was that the dragon was like fucking them up? We well, fucked them up. Yeah, does the dragon fly in there because you knew they were there? Uh, Alright, cool. And then, what uh, is the fire out? <laughs> it's gone in the them. morning. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I guess we'll just... That's it? Yeah, is okay. there anything else anyone wants to do during this night still? No, I'll sleep. I'll no. sleep. I want to get to the morning. Yeah, after I get attuned, I'm just going to hang out. Okay. Yeah, so you guys all take a long rest, go to sleep, etc. Attune to your weapons if you felt like it. And you wake up in the morning. It's actually a very clear morning. Like, no clouds in sight. The sun has just started to shine above the uh, mountain peaks. Uh, and they're casting a large shadow upon in this uh, marshland. You, d- you don't feel as though there's any terrible weather or anything coming your way. Nice. A beautiful so, day. It's crisp with some frost all along your tent as well. Good day for death. <laughs> I get a little tear up because like, that's a fast weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just make our way there then. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go. You do know that you need the flower in order to actually wake him up. Alright, where's the flower again? Uh, it was between two mountains nearby. Uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, the Frantella can be found at a frozen lake in the alley between two of the nearby mountains, Mount Iso and Mount Claro, which is to the northeast. You know how long of a journey that is? Uh, from. I ate, it probably would have been about a half day's journey. From here, though? From where you are, it'll be around a day. Okay, so we have to get this flower. Well, no, the, the wizard place is, like, not far from the flower, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's probably a, a half day's from the flower. Yeah, so, like, getting the flower is on our way there. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, yeah. Well, no, getting the flower is, yeah, like, past where it would be. Okay, but either way. So, yeah, we have to go... So we have to get this flower, or else going there is pointless. But I mean, it will take long to get a flower. It's just a flower. We'll just walk in there, pluck it out of the ground, and beeline out of there. So we're getting a flower to help someone who's sick, quote-unquote. He's not sick. He's meditating. Oh, yeah. For Sorry. So yeah. yeah. He's not sick. He's in a trance. We yeah. have to wake him up. Mm. So- and if we wake him up, that means he's just rested, which means he has all his spells and everything. So we should be good to go. So, like... But what does the flower look like? Uh, Blue flower, red form, orange? No, I like, it's a r- gradient, right? Yeah, I yeah. think it was a golden yellow flower with red tinges on the ends of the petals. Oh, okay. I was making a Shrek joke. Yeah. It, we're, we're doing Shrek again. Oh. <laughs> Donkey, you need to find me a blue flower with red thorns. <laughs> Afterwards, I'll make a waffles. <laughs> I just think it's funny how some of these things just like yeah. line up so yeah. really, like close. It's I like, oh my god. Let it do it. Can we get a talking doggy, please? <laughs> Lovecraft. <laughs> Imagine if Lovecraft could talk. One day. He I will. mean, you could technically. Just need to speak with animals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, we'll make her. We'll set the on trail. off in the trail we blaze. It's uh, Road Del Dorado. I know. That's a good song. Right? Yes. All right, yeah. Joke. Are you using what? both the, the wagons? Yeah, I mean, we'll probably... T- yeah, we'll, joke within a we'll joke. We'll take them both. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll ride <laughs> horse again. <laughs> Just like a certain dominance or something. I don't know. Baron, do you want to drive? You're getting pretty good at it. Yeah, I'll drive. <laughs> and I think we can agree that this has become our cart. No, you and me. This is our card. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can agree. Your this is our card. Your card of it's death. It's not a murder card. Call it a murder, <laughs> murder card. Murder card, dude. Please don't, don't call you? our card yeah. the murder card. Okay? Murder card. Murder of friends. This, this, this is the cool card, okay? It is. It's it right. really is. Some magical about this. Mm. Yeah, I mean. It really is something. Covered in druid blood. <laughs> I'm going to go here. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna f- follow behind them. Okay. With the other cart and the horse. Uh, what cart are you going in? The same one you were in before? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Lazarus will probably ride with you guys just because there's more room. Mm-hmm. That's fine. He can help body. me with my gun. I'm gonna tinker okay. with it while he drives. Okay. I can make you more ammo, by the way. Can you? I can just. Oh, I can just, just make that. Just do that. 
Okay, cool. That's perfect. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And Druman will stay in the same card that he was in before as well. Okay. Uh, Band of Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys make your way. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, it's your beautiful ha- day. You'd be headed east, right? Yeah, towards the flower. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you go on this new path that you weren't quite on before, and you don't see any prints, so you, you assume that no one's been on this path for quite a while. Since the last snowstorm, and there wasn't actually a storm that happened that you thought was going to happen yesterday. Mm, yeah. It just kind of dissipated and went the other way. Nice. That's concerning. <laughs> or lucky. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe it was Fasimir. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just when friends get betrayed. <laughs> it was the betrayal of friend storm. Yeah. Or maybe it was a dark entity in your visions. Maybe it was actually a white dragon. Or maybe That's it was true. symbolic. A storm is brewing. Any old. <laughs> Can we get past the eel thing, please? You're right. I'm Dude, sorry. Artists. We find the flower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about your family, Tony. I care. <laughs> I love you, Tony. I don't care about your family. Whoa, bro. But I also, but it's a town of people. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save most of them anyway. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Okay. You have the chance to actually get the upper hand on Artemis. But there's just... no way to get there in time. It's across the continent. He's going to be there like a the day. the wizard. Teleport. Well, before we came off this We're way, riding. Cart time. Like, Woo. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, but we came out in Hurria, which is still mostly across the continent. Yeah, but still cool. Yeah, right. uh, whatever. Uh, and we cart. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything anyone wants to do while carting? I'm going max speed this like whole time. Thank okay. you. As fast as we uh, can. Just roll a vehicle check for me. Easy. Check it out. Nat- oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my I god. love you! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just playing on my, my gun. I want to get proficiency okay. with my Tinker's kit. I'm gonna, Working on it. I'm gonna try to keep up, but at a safe like sp- speed. Yeah, so roll a like, well, vehicle check. We're winning this race, baby! <laughs> Do I add anything to so that? Or just fucking your drifting corners and shit. 13. Uh, you're not able to keep with them. Like, they are going super fast. You've never seen a card actually go this fast. Amazing. Um. Okay, well, I guess I just keep following the path. Because, like, okay. this path, no one's traveled on it, right? And it's, like, yeah. a pretty, yeah, specific path. So I'm just going to follow. Okay, and you are, like, drifting along the path as well. Yeah, but you need to turn a corner and go. Uh, and Francis I think that's where we leave off on this episode of a deal with demons. Nice. It's like Mario Kart up in here. <laughs>